In order to practice putting words into your picture, uh, before we start on our final project, we're gonna do a, um, a demonstration, we're gonna practice one. So I posterized or flattened a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. And as you can see, I have a white value, a gray value, and a black value. I then traced the outlines of each of these shapes. So you go through and you can see the white shape is outlined, the gray shapes are outlined, and the black shapes are outlined. Now, when you look at it here, it kind of just looks like a bunch of squiggles um, until you start adding the values back in. And the way you're gonna do that is by using Sharpie for the black values and gray for, I'm sorry, and pen for the gray values. And you're gonna use words. The words that I picked, uh, I have his, uh, I have a dream speech. So um, it really depends on your preference, whether you want to try to work up and down, whether you want to try to do section by section, um, that really is your uh, preference. But the key to doing this is to write small and to write close together. You don't want to leave a lot of gaps between words or between lines. So, and you want to make sure that you're putting the right color in the right spot. So I'm just going to start copying. Now, I fit the word five. I can't fit the word score. The next word is score. I can't fit the whole word score there. So I'm just gonna put S, C on this side. So, so I just completed the rest of the word score over here. Score, year, and then the S of years goes in this one. Ago. Notice how the words are really pushed together. So there's not a gap between years and ago. Um, it's really close together. I'm paying attention to what color goes in which places. I'm even going to do half of the A in Sharpie and half of the A in pen for American. Notice how I don't have the neatest handwriting. Uh, I don't have a bad handwriting, but it's not the neatest, and that's okay. It doesn't really matter if your handwriting is perfect, as long as you are um, condensed and pushed together. And I got to the end of the word whose, and I only got W-H-O. I'm just gonna go to the next line with S-E. And notice when I go from one line to another, I'm not leaving a gap there. I'm really trying to push it all together. Oops, I made a mistake. Just keep going. Now this part's a little tricky, and I may not be able to go as side to side. Um, you might choose to draw, or to, to do the words up and down. You might still try to get it side to side. That's up to you. <laughs> 